Hello, and welcome to your third nugget of inspiration for a healthier, happier 2022. Now today, I wanna to talk to you about removing self-judgment. And this comes off the back of a comment on one of my previous videos, which is, um, I'm so disappointed in myself. I need to make better choices. Now, this pretty much sums up diet culture, right? And the fact that either whether you've been on a diet or you have tried to follow a set of rules before or you've set yourself some targets for eating better, when you don't reach those targets or you don't follow the plan and you fall off the wagon, I hate that wagon, right? There should be no wagon. When you don't, when you're not able to keep that stuff going, you feel bad about yourself. But do you know what? You don't need to feel bad about yourself. It's not you that is the problem. It's that process that is the problem. Anything that is overly restrictive, that relies on your willpower to keep you on track is not going to work long term. You need to change your habits and behaviors around food. So much of what drives your food choices or what you end up eating is a subconscious decision, okay? So we actually need to deal with what's in here, what's driving your food choices. Following a restrictive diet that feels unrealistic in the long term is likely to make you feel bad about yourself. Equally, comparing yourself to other people is also gonna make you feel bad about yourself. You are you, you are not other people. You do you, let them do them. Don't compare yourself to other people on social media. That's a snippety tiny little bit of their life. Even what I do on social media is a snippety tiny bit of my life. You know, I have my meltdowns, I have my terrible days. I have days when I eat weird stuff, right? It's just a snippet. Please do not judge yourself against those, those things. Judge yourself in a completely different way, right? Just, in fact, take judgment out of it altogether. You need to be kind to yourself. I am extremely passionate about this because I have or had the worst relationship with food you can possibly imagine from when I was a child until I was in my late 20s. Super destructive, binging, crazy binging, going and buying three packs of family-sized chocolates and scoffing them all, crying into the bag, hating myself. What was the matter with me? Why was I doing this? Tomorrow I will do better. Standing in the bathroom, looking at the mirror. What is wrong with you, Claire? You can do this. You know you don't want to binge. What are you doing? Oh, and then tomorrow, the next day, I went through periods of starving myself, eating nothing, throwing food away, lying to people about what I was eating. I then decided I was going to eat and then I was vomiting afterwards. Like destructive, crazy, hideous, awful relationship with food, which was a lot to do with how I was dealing with my feelings, I was dealing with myself. That was what I was trying to control. But in the process of trying to control that, I ended up hating myself because I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I knew what I wanted to be doing was eat healthy and get into a good routine, but I just couldn't do it. And that's because knowledge does not create change by itself because so much of what drives our eating is, as I said before, this subconscious, these habits, these behaviors around food. So particularly if you have a bad relationship with food or you've been on lots of diets before, like another set of rules, another set of guidelines, another set of restrictions is not gonna help you. You need to take a different approach to changing what you eat because it only makes you hate yourself. And do you think hating yourself is helpful? It is not helpful. When you are disappointed in yourself and you feel like you failed, it drives the negative behavior. Are you more or less likely to eat or a packet of cookies or whatever it is, eat some extra cheese, graze on food when you're not hungry, have that extra glass of wine when you feel bad about yourself or not? Like you're gonna have more of that when you feel bad about yourself. So please remove the judgment. You are not a bad person. This industry, the diet industry, the world of food and nutrition and all the crazy messages is the problem. You are not the problem okay talk to yourself like you would talk to somebody else if you had a friend sitting on your couch that was struggling with something be it their eating 
um, or anything in their life and they felt really bad about it. They're like, I just can't, I'm just really struggling. I just, I'm, I'm struggling to get this motivation. Um, I ate this thing that I didn't want to eat. You would not sit down with them and say, you stupid woman, like, what is the matter with you? Are you crazy? Like, you just need to try harder. Like, are you dumb? What is your problem? You would not talk to a friend like that. Do not talk to yourself like that. You are better than that. You don't deserve that. Your friends and family who love you deeply do not want you to talk to yourself like that. That is a voice in your head that needs to be changed. Okay, so my action point today, my nugget for today is to change self-judgment to curiosity. If you make a choice around food or anything really in your life, if you shout when you didn't want to shout, if you make any choice about anything, be it a relationship, like I said, food, drink, whatever it is, work, if you do something that you know was not what you wanted to do, Take the judgment away and be curious. Why did I do that? What was driving that behavior? Hmm, okay, was I feeling angry? Did I not sleep well? Am I feeling, you know, bad about myself? Am I trying to deal with an emotion or a feeling under here? What is underneath there? That is where the answer lies. You tell yourself you're a bad person, you're driving negative behavior. You need to talk to yourself in a kind way. You need to be compassionate. You are helping not a single other human being on the planet by being so damn mean to yourself, okay? So please, your action point today is to be aware of the conversations in your mind, be aware of that self-judgment and change the conversation. Say nice things to yourself. You may not have nice things to said to you as a child. This may come from things that other people have said to you, but you can be kind to yourself. I was horrible to myself for so long and it nearly ended me and I would never want that for somebody else. And if there's anything I can do in my life to change that for another person, I will do it. And that is why I'm here. So please, no judgment, compassion, kindness, curiosity. So good luck with that. And I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.